In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use the Is Shop from WooCommerce to display text on the shop homepage. And if I head over to a product category like clothing, you'll see here that we have text being output based on the Is Product Category uh, hook function from WooCommerce. So these are the standard WooCommerce functions, and I'm using the same template for the shop as well as the archive. So let me show you how to set that up. So I've removed the integration with Bricks and we're going to have a look at then how to target these two text elements. I'm going to head over into Bricks and you'll see here on the Bricks page that I have the two elements and we're going to target those using the function. Before we can target them though, we need to know what value we need to look for when we do the con condition. So are we looking for um, a one or the, the word true? And this could apply to any function inside WordPress. So what is WooCommerce outputting when you say is shop or is product category. So to do that, we're going to just add a code block. So we're going to add the code. And in that code block, then we're going to target the two elements. So what I'm going to do just to make it a bit easier is I'm going to duplicate this. And what I'll do is I'll move one code block below is shop and one below is product category and we'll target the two separately. So the first thing then to do is just put in some custom code here and I'm going to go echo print underscore r is underscore shop and that's to output the value for is shop so I'm going to copy that then I'm going to execute the code and sign the code and then I'm going to go down here to the next code block and I'm going to do the same thing but for product category. So is, and we'll just change that to product underscore category. And turn that on, sign the code, write code signed and save. So now we're going to get head over to the website and just have a look at those values. So I'll refresh the page. And now you'll see that when we look at the values that are output, when it comes to a shop, you can ignore the first one. If you look at the second value, that's the value that we're interested in, and that is outputting the number one when we're on the shop page. If I go to a category page, you'll see now that there's no second value, so no value gets output, and here we have the value of one on the archive page, the category page. So now we know that we need to include the value one when we're doing the condition. So I'm going to go back to the shop. Right, and we're going to head over here and I can delete these two code blocks now because we know that we're looking for the value of one. Right, so let's create the condition. So I'll head over here to the shop. So we're going to use is shop and I'll just create that condition. So it's going to be a dynamic data condition and we're going to do PHP. So we know that that's going to be the echo command and we'll go in underscore shop and that must be the value of one. And I'll just copy that. And then I'm gonna to go to the second element of text for is product category and we're gonna create the condition for that. And right, so there we have the dynamic data. And I'm going to change is shop then here to is product underscore category. Category, so is product category, and that must be equal to one. So we know that that is the value that we need to target. And I'm going to save. There's nothing else that I need to do here. And we have those conditions set. So we'll save that. I'll head over to the website and we'll target that. And now you'll see that nothing is displayed. Whether I go to a category or I'm on the shop page, nothing gets displayed. And the reason for that is that inside Bricks, if you want to use the dynamic data output using the echo, you need to tell Bricks that you want to do it for those specific functions. So if we head over to Bricks and we head over here to custom code, and I refresh the page. 
you will see now that it has added is product category and is shop to this list. And in this list, it says uh, copy and paste the code below into your Bricks child theme to allow those functions to be called through the echo tag. So Bricks has gone through all my code and checked all the functions and said you need to add this in your um, into your function for the website or into a code snippet, which is what I use. So you can just copy that and you'll see now that it automatically added is product category and is shop and it took that from the code that we added um, to this page. So what I can do now is head over here to my snippet. So this is the snippet that I had before and you'll see I didn't have the is shop or is product category. I'm just going to select that and paste it with that new suggestion from Bricks and I'm going to save the changes. Right, so if, if is product category isn't in the list and you're using it to output or using it as a condition, it's not going to output the value for the condition. So you could just add those two elements here. So we've added that and now when I go back to the website and I refresh the page, we'll see now that those conditions are working. So here we have displaying the shop page using the is shop condition. And if I go to my clothing page, the category, this is now being displayed on the category page. So that's how you can set up and use the is shop or is product category in WooCommerce with Bricks Builder. Hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.